Hi guys and welcome to Eddie's Corner. So today I have a huge haul. So these are products I purchased either at CVS, Walmart, or Ulta. Okay, it's been um, I think three weeks, a month's worth. I just haven't had a time. I've been a little under the weather, but I am back. All right guys, so let's get right into this. So I don't know if maybe some of you remember if you're my age, I'm 51, you might have remembered back in the day they had what they called cologne splash or uh, yeah, they called it splashes, splashes, cologne, I don't know. And one of my favorites was Jenna Tay. Oh my gosh, I can't. If I find the picture, I'm going to put it here. I went through, I don't know how many bottles of that thing. Anyways, I've always been a fan of, you know, you get out of the shower, you just spritz on something really light. So. For that, I have been looking, well, I've been looking up and down for the Elizabeth Arden Sunflower Perfume. And, um, is this, no, it's not a perfume, but it's, uh, what do they call it? They call it, uh, oh yeah, Eau de Toilette, okay? So I was able to find the perfume. This I found it on Walmart. And there's something about this perfume that I have always, always loved. It is, let me see if this even, God, these glasses are like, okay, let's see how it's described. It says, and the sun was shining, be, what? And the sun was shining when he held me and I felt a deep flowering of pleasure all at once like a sunflower opening. Okay, this sounds weird. <laughs> okay. It doesn't describe the notes. I don't know. Okay, this sounds like a novel. A cheesy novel. <laughs> but... I just love it. I love it. I've always loved this perfume. I don't know how, they used to sell the big bottle, okay? I just, maybe last year I finished that one, but mm, it's, it's a little sweet, fresh. I love it. Okay, so this is the perfume, but I also found the fine fragrance mist okay they were on sale for $9.99 so I purchased two of these this is like the perfect mist oh and it's such a fine I hope you can see that oh and it smells so good oh my gosh I love it I love it and for the summer it's nice and light and it's not heavy so I purchased two of these. These are eight ounces. And I believe this is the, the other toilet is 1.7. So again, favorite, favorite fragrances and body mist. And then I also purchased a Holy Grail <laughs> body mist. So this is um, Violetas. So this is the, I think I've talked about this on this channel before. It's the Agustin uh, Royal Violets. This is the body mist. They also have the cologne. I have a little bit left of the cologne. I gave my backup to my niece because she actually really liked it. And um, so I just gave it to her. So I need to buy a backup of the, of the cologne cologne. This is the mist. Again, this is a... <sighs> this is a staple down here in South Florida. So if you're a boy or girl, baby boy or girl, you're lathered in this, okay? This is amazing. I love it. I love it. It's a really true violet smell. Okay, so as far as fragrances, that's all I got. Now let's move on into makeup. Okay, I purchased, I saw this and I was like, hmm, this is interesting. Um, it's the NYX Lift and Snatch brow tinted pen so i want to be able to draw fine hairs it's a micro brush trip it's a micro brush tip for hair like strokes 
yeah that's exactly what I want and it's in the color taupe so yeah this is gonna be interesting to see no that's a good thing it has tape both on the bottom and the top so you know nobody tried it out um so yeah i i've been i've been interesting to use some of these products okay oh wow that's really thin look at that i hope you can see that Ooh. Okay. Okay. So we'll give this a try. <clears throat> I also purchased um so I was so in, I've been so impressed with the essence um did I show you the mascara? I don't think I did. I think I started using that right away. Okay. So I purchased the um, Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. It's the one in the green tube. So I went to do my nails and um, my manicurist, she's like, Oh, she's like, what have you been doing to your eyelashes? They're long. They're they're like so thick and long. I'm like, nothing. I mean, nothing. I am trying out a new mascara and it was this one. She's like, holy cow. She's like, when you get home, let me see what the name is. And she ordered it on Amazon that same day. So this has been the S this is the essence, um, the green lettering. This is very good. So I was so impressed with that and with the banana powder that I went ahead and I purchased um, the Essence, the blush, okay? I know, I don't need another blush, but this color was so pretty. This is in the color um, 20 Bespoke, okay? Look at that, how pretty. Look at that. Very pretty. Has a little bit of a shimmer in it. Okay. Um, I also picked up another L'Oreal Lumi Bronzet in the color medium. I have it in the color light, but I've been tan. Not I haven't been tanning on purpose, but um, I've gotten a little tan, so I wanted to try this one out. Guys, if you want an awesome drugstore bronzer this is it look no further this is a great and you know some people complain about the packaging i've never had a problem with this package i've had my other one i think for two years and i use that thing like crazy and i have no issues with it beautiful compact i mean it's going to take you a while to go through this but it just lays on so beautifully on your skin. It sinks in. It's not like that powder that stays on top. It sinks in. It has a little bit of a shimmer. It just blends in with your, it's just gorgeous, beautiful. I went for a second color. Okay. I also picked up um, this Milani highly rated diamond gloss. Okay. Haven't even tried it. Okay. Just want to see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the reason why I picked this up is because I kind of went lip crazy. Okay. I purchased, I think they were having, um, oh, my gosh. It was the NYX. It was a NYX sale, and they were having... I think it was three for 15 or three for 12 lip liners. So I was like, okay, because more and more, I'm having a hard time finding my favorite Milani lip liners in natural and, um, oh, what's the other one? Nude, is it? 
my all-time favorite. So I've been having some trouble looking, finding those. So I said, you know what? Let me start looking for um, some alternatives. And I found a couple of nude ones. So let me see. <clears throat> so I got them in. So this is Ever. This is natural. Oh, that's so pretty. I just love um, lip liners where you have to sharpen them. This is Peekaboo Neutral, the third one. Peekaboo Neutral, very pretty. And beige. That's beige. Okay, so very neutral, love them, been using all of them. Are they the same as the Milani colors? Not exactly. So I'm just gonna have to really look for those other ones. Then I got some other colors that are, you know, not, what is, how do they say it? Not in my wheelhouse, but you'll see why I got these. So this is in the color Citrine. Okay. This is in the color hot red. And what I really wanted was like an orangey red, but it was sold out. And cabaret. Okay. And then finally, I got one from Milani. It's called fuchsia. Okay. All right, guys. So there we go. So the reason why I ended up buying all these um, lip liners was kind of went crazy buying the Milani because it was, there was a sale. I think I, end, I had a sale. I had a 30% off coupon. I had my $10 CVS coupon. I mean, I had it was coupons on top of coupons and i was like whoa if i don't if i don't buy these lipsticks now you know with these coupons i'm never gonna get them so i ended up purchasing let me see where i'm gonna swatch them i think i'll swatch them here so let's start with um it's these the ones that come in my god they're so pretty this is the milani these are the matte ones Okay, this is in Pleasure. Wow, this is so pretty. So the reason why I bought that lip gloss was to maybe layer it on top of um, these matte ones. I mean, all you need is one swipe with these. This is Secret. So, um, Pleasure and Secret. Look at those colors. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? Then these are the next four are more like like balms, like lip balms, okay? So the first one is lustful. See, and the tip is more like a lip balm tip. It's not a bullet bullet. I mean, these the color payoff on these. So that's lustful. Look at that. Then we've got role play. I mean, I'm gonna swatch it. You see how one swatch, look at that. This is nylon. That's what I have on now. Mm. so nice and creamy i love them and finally bitten wow i'm so excited to start using these colors 
the fall's coming. You know, I hate to be one of those people that, oh, the fall's here already. No, it's still summer, but look at these colors. Just gorgeous, okay? Mm, now, okay, now, I also purchased another one of the Tarte Maracuya Juicy Lip Plumps. I love the coconut one. That is one of the ones I have in my purse at all times. So I ended up buying the peachy. Okay. It's a different packaging than the other one because I think the other one is a lip gloss. It's supposed to be a lipstick. I'm not sure. Oh, this is the this is the one where I can't figure out if you pump it. Yeah, I guess so. So I'm just gonna swatch this here at the top. Oh, that's pretty peachy. Okay. Beautiful. And this is going to go nice with any of those um, nude lip liners that I purchased. Also purchased another Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation in... This is supposed to be full coverage, protective makeup sunscreen. It has SPF 50, and I got it in the color 228 Soft Tan. It's a slightly darker color, but again, I love this foundation. Uh, this is, I think this is my favorite drugstore foundation. I just, you know, uh, decluttered, I think, one by L'Oreal. No, this one. I love it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Even for people with oily skin, that one goes on beautifully. Okay, um, oh, one more lip liner. Uh, I got this from Ulta, it's the MAC. I was watching, I forgot her name. This is an oak, so I was watching, it's this makeup artist, she has a channel. Gosh, if I remember, I'll put her name up here. Um, and she was going through, she had a video where she um, basically listed all her nude lip liners. Look at that. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. Okay. Oof, excited about the MAC lip liners and lipsticks you can never go wrong with. And she recommended that one. <clears throat> okay. I also got two um, Real Techniques brushes. Guys, there's... You don't need to spend a lot of money on brushes, okay? Yes, they're nice. Um, it gives you a sense of luxury, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, up to, I think, f four years ago, most of my brushes were um, drugstore brushes, okay? And there's two brands that I love. Real Techniques. So I picked up another one of the, um, I think this is my third one. But this is the kind of brush that you always want to pick up and it's always dirty. So this is the um, 402, the setting brush. So this is good for under eye setting, um, just touching up with powder anywhere. You know, if you just want a one and done eyeshadow, boom, you're done. Uh, maybe a little bit of highlighter. Then this one, I love the shape of this one too. This is the 210, and this is the Expert Concealer Brush. Okay, so for concealing, for eyeshadows too, I mean, I love it. For contouring the nose, okay? So I should have picked up another one of these, because this, this is my third one, but... And I think this used to come in pink, so, you know, just look for 402 and 410. No. Sorry, 402 and 210. 402 and 210, okay? I have to wash them already. Okay, what's next? Oh, so I went ahead and I picked up the Real Techniques. It's the brush cleaner. So you suction it on onto the sink and it came with um, brush cleanser. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do that tonight while I, I listen to my podcast. I'll do that tonight. So I picked up, <clears throat> I thought this was such a great deal. And here it says 32, but I want to say it was $25. So this is the Benefit Cheektopia um, pack. So it comes with 
So I'm gonna go in order. This is the matte bronzer, Hula, Dandelion, a baby pink brightening face powder, Georgia, golden peach blush, Dallas, which is a new shade. It's a rosy bronze blush. Ooh, that sounds nice. And Sugar Bomb, a rosy pink blush. Okay, so these are it. This looks like it's four different colors. But I just thought this was such a good deal. And if you're going, um, if you're going traveling, I've been traveling. I went to an amusement park last weekend and that's where I went kind of downhill. Um, anyways, um, long story short, you know, when, when you're traveling and you're, you have like these um, short weekend getaways, you don't want to carry a lot, you know, because you might just be taking like a duffel bag or a backpack and you don't want to be carrying a lot of stuff. So I thought these little, um, I, mean, I was curious too, but I thought these little um, blushes and, and, oh God, this is like so securely, um, there we go. I thought these little blushes would be great to carry in, um, oh my God, and they're plastic. I thought they were going to be the paper. <gasps> this is awesome. Okay, so this is the, let's see how you open this. Oh, okay. This is the Huda. So it does feel a little cheapy, <laughs> but for $25, the nice thing is that it does, you know, uh, click. So you know it's closed. So you just, you see, there's a little indentation there. You just, wow. They're plastic. I mean, I'm happy they're, they're plastic. Okay, this is Dandelion. Oh, wow. What a pretty color. This is also, guys, if they still have this, this would make a perfect um, stocking stuffer for some young girls getting into makeup. Oh my gosh, look at that. Sugar Bomb. Ooh. And Dallas. This is the one I'm most interested in. Let's compare this to Hula. This is lighter but very nice. I'm impressed. I mean, this is great to carry. I mean, let's say you take you take a, a bronzer and a blush. This is it. This is all it's gonna, I mean, look at that. Nice compact packaging. Makes a cute stocking stuffer. I mean, can you just see this going into a stocking? How cute is that? All right, guys, so that's the blush. Then I also picked up, <clears throat> oh, I, you know, I see a lot of, I'm very picky about foundation, okay? I see a lot of new releases. Um, for me to commit to foundation, you know, like today I threw away two, which I was like, you know, I, I mean, I should have known better. Um, but I have gone ahead and I picked up the, Tent Idol Ultra Wear. Picked it up in Bisque. And this is supposed to be, I believe, a matte finish, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. <clears throat> so it says up to 24 color wear and comfort, transfer resistant, all skin types. Um, broad spectrum SPF 15. The full coverage you need, flaws, pores, redness, and all imperfections visibly disappear. The velvety finish you'll love up to 24 hours, lasting makeup perfection and comfort. Full coverage, velvety matte finish. Okay, so I usually don't like matte, but I've seen so many reviews on this that I said, you know what, let me try it out. Ulta had a promotion going on that if you spent a certain amount of money on their products, um, you could get a gift with purchase. So. It's amazing. I'll show you it right now, but let me go through what I purchased. I purchased the Wim uh, body wash in, I think it's papaya. Oh, so nice. So fresh and bubbly and fruity. 
that's really nice my son is loving it and then i also purchased the um the gel hand wash i think in eucalyptus and papaya ginger i want to say again very nice very fresh you know i'm putting i use them in the kitchen we're always washing our hands so i got four of those and i got one of the body body washes they're there it's a huge thing and it was on sale too so and then i saw these it's the this is the sea salt petty pebble exfoliating foot treatment bar made with coconut oil shea butter and sea salt wow guys this stuff is it says contains no dea paraben sulfates no tea hmm. made in the u.s from u.s and imported ingredients all right well the point is so i did um a foot mask with my sister when we were in naples and our skin started shedding like a snake it was amazing it was great so my feet are in baby skin condition so i want it i've been wanting to you know keep it up and you know i'm putting moisturizer at night i'm putting socks on i don't want my feet to get dry again or cracked heels i have my heels are in perfect condition and i saw this and i'm like huh i'm gonna give it a try it's great you know i use it maybe twice a week um i'll um clean and scrub my feet with it they feel fresh clean squeaky clean and it just gives it a nice soft buff because the granules in it they're not rough it's very um it's not super uh thin and it's not super like um rough it's just the right consistency to um scrub your feet with so and the smell wow amazing i'm gonna pick up a few more hopefully they're still on sale so i'm loving these um what else let's see um oh yeah my mom she's so cute she had a backup of a backup of a backup so she's like i don't know when i'm gonna use all these i rather give it to you i already have two i don't need a third one and she had one open so and this is her favorite color so it's the rouge coco gloss in 119 um this is the color borges this is a beautiful color this color looks gorgeous on her mm. look at that it has oh look at that shimmer it's just gorgeous so yeah i can't wait to start using this so i'm like i have so many lipsticks um okay guys and then Finally, the gift with purchase, you get to pick from, uh, they call this emerald, and I think the other one they called um, fuchsia, I'm not sure, but it was like a, a dark pink color, like almost like this color, no, like this color, yeah. So this was it, I thought it was adorable, <clears throat> and you get an Ulta eyeshadow palette. Look at these colors, guys. This doesn't have, oh my gosh. I mean, if you are a neutrals girl, this is gorgeous. I mean, you take this, you take this, your whole makeup. Um, I mean, look at this. This this fits anywhere. This little compact, I thought when I saw the compact the compact i was like oh wow these are gorgeous these shades are beautiful okay so that came in the gift with purchase <clears throat> then uh, um now we have uh the m167 oval eyeshadow brush by morphe great little eyeshadow brush i'm going to open it right now and put it in my i'm gonna wash it and then start to use it so let's see okay this is nice and stiff to like pack on or even like under your eyes go like that your inner corner very nice 
Then we also have a sample of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. We have um, a Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. this uh, the Ulta Beauty brow gel clear the Ulta matte eye primer oil free in the color nude oh wow um Maybelline the falsies I have this this is a good mascara we have another sample wow it's a lot of mascara the mattifying face primer mineral oil free paraben free control shines and blurs pores this is by ulta an ulta beauty blush and highlighting duo doesn't say the color it's just you know generic but i mean this will do you know if you don't want to be carrying a lot of stuff these little samples that they give out oh one of these little face wash makeup removers. Uh, an Ulta Beauty Lash Flash Warm Water Wash Off Mascara. Another mascara, wow. Uh, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Okay. Is this an eyeliner? Eye Pencil. Black Bean. I guess it's a brown, I guess, yeah something you could use to create a smoky look um this is raisin i think this is an ulta beauty lipstick in raisin uh laura mercier rose gold caviar stick eye color i mean this goes on and on guys the ulta beauty tinted juice infused lip oil in the color doesn't say the color but it looks like a nice nudie color another matte eye primer and finally which I think I've used once in my life <laughs> it's the kiss the new way to lash falscara light um, yeah eyelashes it brings the wisp eyelashes, bonding, and the applicator. All right. Not bad, guys. This, I mean, and then it brings this super cute cosmetics bag, which, guys, honestly, you can even use it, like, as a little clutch. It's so pretty, you know? This is not bad for a gift with purchase. And that's it guys that is my cvs walmart ulta haul okay guys thanks for watching i will definitely be doing a look with the benefit blushes the milani lipsticks the um lancome um foundations i mean there's a lot so we're gonna have fun all right guys if you like this video if you found it interesting if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you later. Mwah. Bye.